I've been working on a lot of smaller 3D printing projects lately. But this time I wanted to go big. My goal? To build a 3D printed floor lamp that's over 5 feet tall and that looks like something you'd find in a designer showroom. But here's the problem. I'm using a normal consumer 3D printer. A typical printer only has a build volume of around 200 to 300 millimeters in each direction. So printing a 5 foot lamp in one piece is, yeah, impossible. I needed a smarter solution. Instead of printing everything I decided to only print the parts where 3D printing actually makes sense and buy the pieces that are cheaper, stronger and faster to source. The result? A lamp that looks premium but costs a fraction of what you'd expect. More on that at the end. To make this work, I had to pick a material that's strong, affordable and visually clean enough to compete with store-bought furniture. I tested a few options and finally settled on 0.8 inch beechwood dowels. They're incredibly sturdy, look beautiful and combined with 3D printed parts, they create this warm, cozy, Scandinavian vibe that I absolutely love. But how do you turn thin, wooden dowels into a structure strong enough to support a 5 foot floor lamp? The answer is a tripod. A tripod is naturally stable. It distributes weight evenly and it's perfect for something this tall. So that became the foundation of my design. Okay, now it's time to combine wood with 3D printing and finally reach those 5 feet. The first thing I focused on was the lampshade, because in any floor lamp that's the centerpiece. I went with a Japanese Scandinavian inspired design and used that ripped 3D printed texture I often use. It makes the shade strong, lightweight and easy to print. I designed two versions, one with a 9.4 inch diameter and one with an 11.4 inch diameter. The smaller one fits on almost any printer while the bigger one needs a slightly larger machine like my V400. But how do we connect everything? This is where 3D printing really shines. Within minutes, I designed custom connectors that lock all three wooden legs together and create a clean, hidden mount for the lampshade. At this point I cared about two things. The build should be simple for anyone to put together and the electronics shouldn't ruin the clean look. So I went with a standard lamp socket with a built-in switch and designed the mounting so the whole thing is completely hidden once assembled. Alright, now it's finally time to put everything together. By the way, I sanded the ends of the beach dowels a bit because they're never perfectly the same diameter and gave them a full coat of oil for a clean finished look. If you want to build this lamp yourself, you can find all print files, a step-by-step -step guide and a parts list on my Kofi page. And the lamp already looked great unlit. But the real question was, how does it look when it's on? Did it reach the full 5 feet? 
And what did it all cost? Honestly, this lamp could easily be sold for around $300 in a design store. But I built it at home and you can too. Yes, the lamp reached 5 feet. And here's what I spent. $12 for filament, $6 for the socket, $8 for the dowels, and about $1 for screws, sanding paper and oil. That's $27 total for a lamp that could cost $300 in a shop. And after setting it up in the perfect spot, I felt something was missing. So in my last video, I built a full 3D printed Bluetooth speaker. If you haven't seen it yet, it's right here.